me to the clinic, you know, get checkup and things like that. And she said that the doctor took her aside. And this is my adopted mom I'm talking about. Took her okay. aside and was like, she's not going to be able to do anything. She's not going to be able to walk. She's not going to be able to take care of herself, et cetera, et cetera. And my mom, you know, my mom said I was away from them when, it, when they said this. And said mm-hmm. I got, she got in the car on the way home. And I just blurted out, I'm going to walk. And she said, in that statement, it made her know that I had determination to do whatever I wanted to do. So everything I'm doing now, basically, my mother spoke over me. I mean, Mm -hmm. she saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself and still trying to see. So I, I, you know, I credit her to that. Okay. There's There's a question asking, is there anything you feel that you can't do? Because of the spina bifida. <laughs> well, most people, when they, when we, you know, we give ourselves a handicap or disabled, I say I'm physically challenged. And to me, that means I physically can't do a lot of things. I can't run. I can't jump. I can't skip. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I can't walk fast. You know, so um, it's not too much for me to say that I can't do a lot of stuff. Because I at least try. Right. You know, I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, I just can't do it. You know, I'm just right. not going to do it. No, I'm going to at least give forth some effort because my mama always said, you got to at least try it once. Can't do it. Oh, wait, at least you try. Right. So it's not really, it's not really much that I can say that I can't do. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a lot that I might not can do physically. Right. What would you say? Um, 